Hi Hopefuls, I hope that you're well. I am just in the bathroom at the moment getting ready for my game and I am wearing that sweatshirt that I talked about last video, the old Boston sweatshirt. Hello? It's Poppy knocking on the door. Um, but I still wear it all the time. Cut the neck, you can't read Boston on it anymore, ouch. Um, and it's got stains all over it. But it is my most broken sweatshirt, I love it. So this is what I'm talking about, throwback. Katie Rebecca, I want to find a picture of me from 2003 now. I also want to go through all of the pictures that I have upstairs stored away and see what my oldest photo that I have taken is. Cause like I said, I think I was in like the third grade. So I was like eight, maybe something like that. Uh, I don't know, I will have to check. I'm going to find something. Um, Raquel. Not having traveled until I was a teenager was actually not like a huge issue because a lot of the people that lived in my area just don't travel a lot. It's not like, it's not something that really happens just because of where we are, just not having a lot of money, like growing up in that area. It's just not something that people really did. They might have taken a big trip down to Florida to go to Disney and I had a friend who did like a road trip to Canada because like, like you know, it's very close to where we are. But a lot of people in our area just don't travel. They don't have the means, they don't have the funding, they don't have the paperwork required to cross borders and it's just, it's just economic honestly at the end of the day. I've been very fortunate that my parents have worked very hard for my brothers and I to be able to go to school and continue continue our education and because of that we have been able to travel. My brother goes out of state, he lived out in Utah, he and his wife go on month-long road trips all of the time. I've been able to travel internationally, I've been able to study abroad and it's just down to my parents really and making that kind of possible for us later in life instead of early on. But I have decided that I'm gonna give myself an extension on the 30 before 30 since I didn't travel until I was 14. So if I add on those 14 years, I've got 12 more years to hit 30 countries. So that's a, I'm gonna count it that way. I'm gonna give myself a little, little extension as far as that traveling stuff goes. But I do wanna show you guys my tote of things, but I'm just trying to get ready for my game at the moment. So it's just me and the kids just trying to figure all that stuff out. Like I'm in the bathroom, I just braided my hair and I'm gonna have to put on my like actual coaching stuff. But before I did that, I wanted to show the sweatshirt from the eighth grade that I've had since 2005. I love this thing. It's my comfy, cozy, homey sweatshirt. I would say weekend, but every day kind of feels like a weekend when I stay at home with my kids. But this is it. This is my throwback of the video today, this sweatshirt that is still kicking around. But thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you back here next Tuesday.